This season, we're in San Antonio, Texas. Today, we're staying at the Hyatt Wild Oaks Ranch, which is about a five minute drive from SeaWorld. Fire! In this review, we'll let you know what you can expect on your own visit. I'm Jeffrey, this is my wife Becca, and you're watching Destination Beaver. About 20 minutes from downtown San Antonio, you can get a more peaceful stay without the crowds and as much noise. Today we're staying at the Hyatt Wild Oak Ranch in San Antonio. It comes with a kitchen. And a living area and then the bedroom. Do we have a balcony? We do. Not a balcony per se, since we're on the first floor, but... Ooh, I think Becca will like this. Not only is there a tub, but his and hers shower. No, wait. One's a shower, one's a shitter. Wait a second. Did I show that right? Let me check that again. Ooh, I think Becca will like this. Not only is there a tub... Yep. That price is accurate. Now, how did we get three nights at the Hyatt Wild Oaks Ranch for only $235.11 total? Let me show you. Sir, I'd like to talk to you about an amazing business opportunity. Don't shake your head yet. No, hear me out. If you love to travel, this is something great. It is an ownership opportunity that you can pass on to your kids. No. But. Seriously? Okay, okay. In all honesty, the guy was very nice to us, and once he realized we weren't gonna purchase, he wasn't gonna waste any more of our time. But this is how most of those situations go, as I've been in a few of them. But that explains how we got it for such cheap price. We did actually get a deal coming here. Uh, that deal was we had to go and listen to a timeshare presentation. I know they call it ownership now, but it's, it's a timeshare presentation. Uh, don't worry. We didn't buy anything. We did, we did not buy a timeshare. Um, we're, we're not uh, roped into any of that. But it was, it was a cost-saving technique, but it's not something I think I would ever recommend to anybody, just for the fact that I would hate for you to go, you know, get three days, four nights at some place to listen to a person try to sell you a ownership opportunity for two hours, and you get kind of roped into it and actually buying one. So I would not, recommend anyone actually do this just because I don't want you to take my recommendation and get stuck into you know tens of thousands of dollars of debt for one of these but that's what we did for here but I'm not sure I'd ever actually want to sit through one of these presentations again I mean I've, I've already done it a couple times my wife and I but it's really uh, kind of a high-pressure sales situation and no matter <laughs> what they tell you um, they're not happy when you don't buy, even when you tell them right up front, no, I'm not buying this. And that's enough about the timeshare presentation. Now let's talk about some of the amenities of the Wild Oak Ranch. They do have a small fitness facility and a pretty nice pool that is both indoors and outdoors. And of course, a water slide, not to mention a hot tub off to the side. After getting some pretty good sleep on a comfortable bed, we decided to have room service. So we had ordered from JB's breakfast and they initially forgot to send our bagel and cream cheese. So we called them and they send that back out. Uh, and now that I'm starting to eat my uh, Greek yogurt parfait, fresh berries, Greek vanilla yogurt, and granola, I'm finding I have no granola. After the yogurt parfait, I moved on to the breakfast tacos. That's good but not worth 50 bucks. <laughs> Ooh, it's strong mimosa. Ooh. Ooh. So the water pressure here is actually pretty good um, for the most part, and the shower is actually very spacious. Although the room was nice enough, we did have an issue come up. We were told that, you know, as long as we're checked in and occupying the room, nobody will step foot in here, nobody will clean it, um, which is, my preferred way of handling things, because you know I've got all my stuff here when I'm not here, so I don't want anyone in the room, you know. 
Uh, well, we were just out for a little while, came back, somebody has been in here and cleaned the room, and I mean, it wouldn't be a, a huge gripe, except for the fact that all of our stuff was moved, stacked on the table, and ended up like, we had to go and search all over the place to find they had put some of our clothes in here. They're not in here now, they're over on the bed, but we were just like, where's our stuff? So we're like tearing the place apart, and I'm calling the front desk trying to ask where our stuff went. So that was, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy I found our stuff, but I was very annoyed that that happened when I was told that one, nobody would be in here, and then two, you moved all my stuff around and hid it from me. So a little addition uh, update after the issue with uh, housekeeping coming in and cleaning up. So the front desk and the management did get in touch with us and they tried to take care of it. You know, they went ahead and checked and we're happy to know that we found our stuff. But come to find out we had been misinformed. The kind of uh, reservation we had, we were part of the crew that was here to get, you know, the presentation for the, you know, ownership opportunity. Uh, and I guess that kind of reservation does actually get a, um, a cleaning like once uh, or twice a week. So if I'd have known that, then I would have put the sticker on the, or the, placard or something on the door just saying stay out. The management apologized for that and are actually sending us up a bottle of white wine and kind of as an apology which other than the miscommunication part so I was misunderstanding something uh, because of what I was told everything was fine because we found our stuff uh, and they did just clean the room uh, but it's nice to know that they're sending up a bottle of wine just just kind of like you know hey sorry for the, the the misunderstanding so now that our issue is all cleared up let's get to the real question would I come back? No, it's not that the place, uh, like the actual room isn't kind of nice or something like that. But at the same time, I'm like, we just really came here really to take part in the deal and to see San Antonio because I had never been here. But that's not to say everything was all bad. We did like the peace and quiet. You're a little bit away from the, the downtown area, so it's not as loud. And there's a, there's a decent view outside. There's a pool here. There's a, there's a golf course it looks like outside. But while it's nice enough, it's just not something I'd probably ever come back to. Well, that's it for this stop on our trip. We'll see you next week. Before you go, check out what's still to come this season.